Hey, you heard her. Keep that same energy. We present to you a wrong production. everybody if you're first time viewing my content end of this video like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so today we're going to be going over a tiktok video made by nina nix i hope i said her name right but uh, i don't really know who she is but i saw this video this morning so let's get into the video something really quickly because this guy hit me up and he was like you don't ever give me a chance you know i like you why and i was like okay um do you remember last year towards the end of last year you put up a post about women with stretch marks you don't really like it's like, it was like a disgusting post about how he does not like women with stretch marks i lost over 130 pounds i'm covered in stretch marks i don't give but you do so when i get naked i'm gonna be thinking about that period okay so he was just like no like you're gorgeous i would not care about your stretch marks da, da, da. pretty girls are not the exception you said what you said stand on it okay same thing with dudes who only post light-skinned women you think i don't notice that you're only posting light-skinned women and then you want to get in my inbox you're so beautiful i'm like a what a ryan destiny the exception to the black girls but you don't really like me you don't really like black girls so get the f go deal with what you like go we can be cool but you know good and dang well you don't rock with me stand on your word okay like I you look at this video and some of y'all may think that she might be I don't know stuck up or whatever the case is but I actually honestly 100% agree with her shout out to Nina Nix hope I said her name right she's a TikToker, and um I saw one of one of the people that I follow they shared her video this morning and so I decided to do my own particular commentary on the basis of this video she was talking to this guy and this guy was trying to hit her up was trying to holler at her and she was just over here just 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 swerving on him just just yeah like <laughs> just swerving on him we like just 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 swerving on him so he asked her up front direct why haven't you been giving me the time of day and she said it's because you don't like women who have the tiger stripes you don't like women who got it going on concerning stretch marks he then says but it's because you're pretty she's like well I won't be the exception for you and your lust for me <laughs> that's how I took it at least and I have to agree with her you have certain men out here who will say one thing and mean another all right They'll say, we don't like women who are who got tiger stripes. We don't like women who are shaped in this type of way or that type of way. But then they get they get they come across a pretty face. Well, 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 well. I ain't mean all of them. Just, just in general. <laughs> nah, you got to keep that same energy. Hold your ground. Now, I will say this, though, right? Because some people, they, they, people honestly hate me because of my views on health. Because I get on their ass. I get on their ass when it comes to obesity. Because you have women out here like Lizzo that say that they're the standard of beauty and that this system is somehow oppressing them because they keep getting bigger. I mean, if that's the case, then every time that you see a commercial concerning food should be discrimination because they want you to get bigger. I will say that there are many beautiful big women out here many beautiful big black women out here that know how to take care of their body they know how to dress they know what to wear for their body they ain't out here looking like Lizzo out here twerking at a Lakers game to such a point where Kobe Bryant had to leave with his family because you just out here just being reckless the women out here actually know how to take care of themselves and know how to conduct themselves for the body type that they have those are the women that I appreciate and that I respect. Now, when it comes to the scenario on whether or not I would give them the time of day, we can flirt, we can talk. You know what I'm saying? You you, you got it going on, you got, got a sense of humor. But when it comes to dating, you have to do something about that weight, miss. And if I really like you, if we really grow a relationship, I'll go through the journey with you. Make you lose that weight so you can be out here looking like Sierra out here looking like Beyonce or something but you can't stay looking like Lizzo you can't stay looking like like Mama Daisy all right <laughs> looking like Big Mama or Medea you can't be out here looking like that you got to do something about that you got to do something about that same scenario goes for women who wear monkey fur 
the Brazilian, the Malaysian, the Peruvian, uh, I think I named them wrong, Indian, Asian, monkey fur, all right? For, for women that wear weave and the artificial hair, I don't go for that. All the women that I have dated in my life had natural hair, wore their natural hair, whether it was in braids, whether it was in plaits, whether it was in cornrows, afro, puff, whatever the scenario was, they wear their hair out, all right? So when it comes to the type of women that I give attention to, most of them are natural. Most of them have their hair out. I don't give attention to women that are out here trying to be a black Barbie doll out here trying to be a black Marilyn Monroe. That's, that's, that should never be the standard for the type of beauty that you should try and, you know, uh, perpetrate in this society. Anyways, until next time on Toronto, thank you for watching this video. If you like what I say, if you did not like what I say, like your thoughts be know in the comment section below. Until next time on Toronto, again, thank you for watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time on Toronto, and I am yeah. Papa got a brand new bag, any man who mad, tell him ooh fucking fam too bad Known to spit but the coldest with no particular motive, I've grown a bit so I've noticed what phony bitches are bogus I bring doom to any MF, I'm a mad villain, I son niggas, my songs give you a dad feeling The groovy new emperor, known to move temperatures, life's a bitch but she keeps sending me nude pics of her She let it all hang out without shame, through stories of each previous spouse about fame Trying to remove a skirt made of doubt and clout games, then pen Traitor until her mouth spit out change Nevertheless, they can't measure my fresh No rest to the devil is stressed Tell him I'm blessed I'm smiling, staring down a barrel of fear Any competitor